What's up everybody, this is Beetle5, and I'm continuing on with Resident Evil 7 and the DLC of Band Footage Nightmare. Now unfortunately, while I was recording this, I had a bit of an issue with my microphone, in which case it did not capture any of my audio during the play. And unfortunately, it was a really good play, and I managed to beat Nightmare after what took at least two hours to beat. And I am not going to do it again, so instead I will just be commentating over what I have done in Nightmare. So, alright, let's just load up Nightmare then, shall we? Alright, so this is where I decide to go up and play Nightmare mode. Clancy tried his best but couldn't outrun Jack. Dragged to the basement staircase and thrown outside, Clancy is still gaggy on the mole-choked air as Ga Jack slams the door on his escape, saying, You just sit tight now, I got some friends I want you to meet, so... There's that. Apparently Clancy gets dragged into the, um... Into the house of Jack. So, there's that. I'm expecting to see more of uh, Clancy, Clancy and um, more of the DLC stuff. Surprisingly, he survives. <sighs> now, basically, when I'm playing this, I, it's, I treat it very much like zombies. Like COD zombies, in a sense. So. <sighs> Alright. Please forgive me if I have nothing interesting to say. This is the first time I have to commentate over my own previously recorded video. I promise this issue will not happen again in the future. I intend on getting a new microphone at some point soon. So yeah. At this point, I really fucked this up a few times. Like, the shotgun is probably a good idea. The handgun is easily what winds up being my tool destruction for the most of this entire match. I didn't really need to save so much on first aid kits, seeing as that the damage that I took most of the time was so minimal because I had a, a health upgraded very high. So it wasn't that big of an issue before. Compactor upgrade proved to be extremely helpful throughout this game. Like, very helpful. Where instead of it being converting scrap at intervals of 100 each, it intru it produced scrap at intervals of 150 per. So yeah. Survive five hours, that's generally what the premise of this. Yep, five hours until dawn. And, uh... Oh my god, well... It became pretty simple at the beginning. I mean, you know. Most of these, uh, uh, by the way, I'm, I've figured out now that the regenerators are not actually regenerators in this game per se. Regenerators hasn't been a term used in most Resident Evil games since 4, and they haven't really showed up since. In this game, they're referred to as the mold, according to people who let me know that in the comments. So as I'm fighting most of the mold here, most of these guys are pretty easy with one shots to the head be a shotgun. I also heavily misuse traps like that. I should not have even done that right there. Yeah, that was an utter waste, because you're going to need... I also forget that when you shoot them down on the ground like that, they're already in an animation point where they're dead, because you can tell where their bullets just pass right through their bodies as opposed to the bullets making contact, so... It proved to be pretty stupid that I waste ammo by doing that over and over. But yeah, as I was saying, I didn't want to waste traps or that turret. That turret proved to be extremely helpful to me. Guarding was always a very, very important factor. That I was always panicking on, really, because I found myself easily surrounded. This area w didn't prove to be too much useful to me. Because, what is it? I mean, there are doors I could have opened with corrosive, as, as like that door right there. That I could have opened with corrosive, but I, I never bought the corrosive in this game, so I really don't know how that went. Probably know it would have been another scrap compactor on the other side or something. Something actually would have been beneficial to my survival. Or more, like, um... Traps, or turrets or whatever unfortunately though once you use turrets they upgrade in, in uh, by levels and like the first level i think it's 100 scrap and then the second level it's 500 scrap and then the max level is 1000 scrap but the problem is they don't last like if you were to start it up at say st by paying 100 scrap it only lasts for like a good whopping 15 seconds and then it stops and then it's more expensive the next time around so they really that that's the also the big issue with this level Prices rise up every time you get something. Luckily, handgun ammo, even though that rose up, it was still ultimately the cheapest thing I could get on there, seeing as that I was buying ammo for all different kinds of weapons. I like the machine gun after a while. I didn't get the machine gun in this first part because the machine gun was something I had to get later on after I've already beaten this once. Now, so, yeah, it's getting a turn right there. I didn't realize it was a timed thing, so doing that was useless. Finding another compactor was pretty awesome, not gonna lie. 
Let me get this fucker following me. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Blow their heads off. That was another thing. Uh, after a while, I, again, I recognize they're like falling animations, but they're different for each person. So for each mold or whatever. So they're not always the same, and I don't always recognize them. Plus, that staircase down there is a bit of a death trap. Oh, yeah, that turret just killed that mold. But that hallway down there is a bit of a death trap because you got nowhere to go. I mean, there's, there's two traps down there, but, I mean, you got freaking five moles following you. It ain't worth it. Damn. So, another thing, shooting for the head's always made it difficult because after, I mean, well, it was difficult at first, but then after a while, once you shoot them in the head and they start to move, like, I recognize the pattern when they tumble backward, and I would shoot them right in their head when it becomes vulnerable on the floor in, like, mid-tumble. Because that's what they do. They, like, backward roll back onto their feet. So. Who's that? Constantly collecting scrap too, and even at intervals where it goes 150 each, it made me feel like I was getting so little scrap each time. I felt so overwhelmed because I never had enough scrap to like keep myself up uploaded and shit or, or upgraded, whatever you want to call it. So that was weird. Sometimes I found myself shooting like one of the mold, and then another one instantly died right next to it. I don't know if like the hitbox of my bullets is large enough to catch. The other mold with it or something, but I've noticed that a few times and I thought that was really strange. This is another area I could corner myself with. Seeing the warning thing kind of freaked me out at first. Like, defeat all enemies. Basically, when warning happens, it the compactors all shut off and after like 40 seconds when it says that. And it'll stop producing scrap and other than what's already currently in its little basket. Which puts me in a tight fix, because if I'm... If I'm in the warning section and I have no scrap or ammo to set myself up with and I'm stuck with the knife, it gets pretty bad. But after a while, I get them in ones of 400 or better yet, 600 later on because of the, uh... Now, see, I wasn't sure if he was dead or not. Because those guys are tricky. Because after a while, I was able to two-hit the crawling guys. But you'd be surprised how the shotgun doesn't always want to kill them. That was the issue with the shotgun. I eventually stopped using it because it one hit kills shit in the beginning, but later on, you'll be lucky if you can two hit kill something with the shotgun. Also, getting trapped in this room is not a good time. Yeah, he's dead. I wasted. Fuck. Okay, okay, yeah. That's. I, yeah, I fucking wasted six bullets on that one guy. I'm not dying down here. Yeah, that's. That's kind of what I felt like I was saying to myself a few times, too, in that game. Also nice, every hour you get a good amount of, uh, scrap. So, it's always nice. And I know there's a point in here where I stop talking, because I just start to casually kill these guys left and right. Gun upgrades were also big, like I shouldn't have wasted on shotgun upgrade. Should have continuously kept upgrading the handgun. That was the one thing that really mattered the most. So, I'm pretty sure it's where I shut up. I'm just going to skip over now to round three, because I believe that's where something interesting happens. So, let's just go over to round three. Alright, so this is the part when I am really in deep doo-doo right now, because I'm pretty low on scrap, and I'm low on ammo of almost every gun, or barely out of ammo for most of the guns here. Pretty determined. Yeah, no shotgun ammo, ten bullets left in a handgun, and a knife. I think we're near, at this point, I'm nearing the last enemies section still not really saving my bullets having a big issue with that still didn't upgrade my comp compactor which was really foolish of me so now this is where we should be moving into the uh, the last enemy warning I continuously pick up scrap over and over to no avail because it's, it's so minute and may as well not even get any Although handgun handgun ammo is what kind of really kept me running Oh, here we go. So now we got the warning thing And I believe this is where I done fuck up major because I again bad room to be stuck in Do not want to be in this room always gonna escape that unfortunately with 10 scrap you know and when you have 10 scrap and you're down into the last 40 sec to the 40 second yard line whatever the yard line whatever the fuck you want to call it 
and you're in the home stretch. And I'm taking damage from three different mold, and one of them has that special strong arm. I think one of these guys has a special strong arm. I don't know. But, okay, four mold. I'm surrounding them with two bullets left, the three ten scrap. This is kind of where you get fubbernucked. Even when you're guard, you got no nothing to do at this point. So, boom, that's when the compactor stop. I mean, even with 610, I, I could get more handgun ammo. But I was also panicking a lot, because I had to constantly keep making loops. I used up all the traps, because I was an idiot. This is where traps become incredibly helpful. Because the turret is not always so reliable because of how expensive it is, which is pure bullshit, but you know. So I picked up a hundred in there. Not that helpful to me. And I was down to the knife. Oh yeah, the knife in this game, you may as well be fucked if you start using your knife. Now, this is when I get ransacked by three of these crawler guys at once, with no hope of survival, and bam. First death. Beautiful. Which then embarked me on a journey of sitting on my ass for a full hour trying to beat this lousy level although after beating it well failing it if you also call it you're given all this extra shit to start with so if i had known that this is what only makes this easier throughout the game so now you get all that crap and i'm like ooh, that's really helpful yes i try again so now we're gonna skip on ahead before we fight jack all right so now we're in the back on round five I mean, I skipped I skipped the other round just because, I mean, no. I killed him pretty easy. He wasn't too hard to fight the first time. Consumed a lot of bullets, but this time, however, he was extremely difficult. Oh, now about this time, I have the machine gun in order for me to uh, kill him a bit easier. Because the machine gun tended to be one of my best weapon of choices here for a while. It kills mold pretty easily. Only issue is that against Jack, it's very hard. Because it's a gun that you can't really aim. And as you know from the first time we fought Jack in the story mode, when he uses the giant scissors, yes, you have a chainsaw, but in the beginning you have your guns. And his giant scissors freaking block bullets. So when you have to aim right down the middle with a machine gun, which recoil sends you the gun all over the place, it's very difficult to nail him in the head. Which is the only spot that's worth even shooting him is I try to shoot him in the crotch there. That's pretty futile. Not even aiming down on my sights, which is a little foolish. Because after a while, I started to aim a bit better with this gun. But even then, it was still pretty difficult. Not really exactly the best weapon of choice to fight Jack with. 150 scrap. Didn't do me too much good in this scenario. I think I was... Oh, yeah. This is where I had the idea to use the grenade launcher on Jack. Which was unfortunately not a smart idea. Grenade launcher in this game is actually a bit of a letdown. This is when I realized I majorly fucked up and that I had to replace the fucking an empty gun with the gray launcher. Nearly slid by Jack right there after being closed in from Jack and Mold. But yeah, trying to find a safe spot to hit tab and freaking go and change my gun so that I can use the grenade launcher as opposed to an empty shotgun or an empty pistol. And then this, then this part, this, this part's just beautiful. Get ready for this shit. Not only am I fucking stumbling, I fucking replace the grenade launcher with my machine gun. The only other weapon that really mattered to me in that whole game. So, so that was gone. And I take a few minutes to be an idiot, replace that. Because I, I hate the menu navigation in this fucking thing. It's the worst. Hearing him behind me freaking me out. Oh, uh, yeah. But again, this grenade... Oh, yeah, I healed myself up a bit. It's good. That's also something I should wait to the very last minute to do because w when you get health upgrades and healing, you could take so much damage to the point where you're limping and then after a while, you'll start to, when you use the freaking strong, fucking, oh god, what's it called, strong, whatever, the, the liquid that heals you. When you use that, it literally brings you from near to zero to full health because of your upgrades and how much it heals you as well, so... Again, extremely helpful. Can this fucker get back up and wasting me more on my machine gun? Again, that proved to be very in uh, ineffective because most of the time I felt like the grenade launcher just phased right through him when I know I aimed right at his chest. Aiming at the ground beneath him didn't always work the best easier, which is my next tactic. Because I, I want to get as far away from him as possible when I'm shooting it. So I try to shoot the ground, right? Actually, that one I think hit him, but again, he can take so much damage in this form, it it's nuts. Before he wheels like the giant raker, whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. But in here, he's much a tougher. So, 
slowly rolling, ro running low on grenade launcher ammo, I realize what a tight fix I'm in. Every time he kneels down, I'm thinking, ooh, this is one step closer to killing him. But no. He turns out he has to kneel down as many times. That shot felt like it didn't hit him in the slightest. I have more mold to deal with. Unfortunately, when you're fighting Jack, more mold continue to spawn, even if you kill them, making them pretty useless to kill. Killing them both right there, I'm figuring, mmm, nice, they're dead. Easy peasy, but no. Those guys live. Because they come back up in a freaking second. I'm pretty sure they're the ones that come back up. Yeah, well, one of them is. That guy was respawned, but the one down there jumped up by body first. He survived that peril, so. With 22 bullets on machine gun ammo, it looks too good for me right now. And I have what? A knife? And no grenade launcher ammo, no handgun ammo, no shotgun ammo. Only 30 scrap to basically can't do anything with that. The cop hackers have long stopped producing scrap as well. And this is where I'm run down to my last bullets and boom, nothing left. Then, then, I, then it hit me. What if I could trick Jack to run into the mold and kill most of them? So that seemed really smart. So after, so after literally resorting to the last possible tactic, I start slicing Jack with a knife. And, and keep in mind, I did not get the melee damage upgrade. So this is about as much damage as one would expect a pocket knife to do to somebody like Jack. So utterly useless. Still surrounded by mold. It's looking really bad for me here. Not enough scrap to activate turrets or traps or nothing. Oh, actually, if I haven't already used any traps, that is. I'm not sure how many more traps I use in this. And that's where he hits me again. So basically, though, at this point, I do a running gun method where I try to avoid mold as much as I can. And I let Jax do his swings, and as soon as he's facing a direction where he's not facing me, I immediately go up the slice at him. Or better yet, if he does his charge attack, when he gets stuck in the wall, an even better opportunity is to go slice it at him. And unfortunately, his scissors have so much range to them, they can hit even in the back of his body. Which I fucked up on on many occasions. That's where he does his charge move, and I'm thinking, BAM! BAM! Lots of hits! Lots of knife slashes at Jack. But yeah, at this point, it just becomes futile. Because he starts to chop me up pretty good. Through the wall! That I had I questioned very much. He literally sliced, sliced me through the brick wall at that point. Running through my mind, I'm thinking, oh god, this is just really becoming very futile. So. It really did not turn out well for me here. I believe this is where I lose. Because, no, okay, he does that lunge attack at me. Which is actually fairly easy to avoid. Mold are much easier to avoid than Jack is. Jack is much more difficult to avoid, in my opinion. Well, actually, that, that's debatable. Because the moles with the giant arms, they get a bit more range on them. And that's when they start to eat me, and then... I, boom, knife his head off, which is pretty sweet. I'm glad that hit didn't take hit on me, because I was already in mid-fall. And this is where I'm surrounded by two moles. I get the crap kicked out of me, and that is where I make my second death. Beyond frustrated, because again, I've been doing this for roughly an hour at this point, because the last one probably took about half hour to 20 minutes. But it's cool, because I realized then that after failing in this one, my next upgrades in this thing were the burner, which actually was kind of helpful. I've never actually used the adrenalines, but the flammable drums, that proved to be helpful in two particular aspects. So we're going to head over to those aspects right now. Alright, so after killing Jack for the first time in my third try this game, that's how, that's how many tries it took, by the way, three tries. So on hour two... Is three hours in. I decided to do this whole full upgrade of every possible thing that I could to keep myself physically fit, as well as a handgun and a shotgun upgrade, as well as more shotgun shells, and I didn't get handgun ammo at the time. But what I did start doing, we're actually going to skip on over to that real quick. So I started to pull out this method where, hmm, the handgun is upgraded to its highest level right now. More than any of my other guns, in fact. So, why not continuously continuously keep buying handgun ammo where at right now it's still the cheapest ammo I could get grabbing scraps of 150 to 300 each time because basically now with this pistol as long as I aim for the heads I can two shot most molds as well as these guys boom that's a two shot right there wasting that third bullet because that just wasn't positive after a while I realized what could kill them and it becomes extremely helpful to the point now where I fight Jack actually before I even fight Jack to the point where I start fighting these uh, two giant um 
fat boys because they're the uh, the next uh, wave right before Jack, I believe. Yep. Okay, so you can hear them in the back. But this is where the flammable drum becomes pretty helpful. Because basically now, you got a few of them behind me there. And I already used the first flammable drum on another wave where there were two more fat guys here. So I activate that. Thinking, oh wait, I'm a little boned because I know this flammable barrel won't kill them. But I got nowhere to run. Luckily, they choose to spawn right over there again. Because every mole can just EP out of the ground or wherever you're closest at. And what did you know it? I don't even have to activate the flammable barrel because these dumb jokers over here, their spit blows it up. Doing a lot of damage to them, only to, to be shot at by my extremely powerful handgun, killing the first one. There you go, he's down. Avoiding the second one's barf right there. I'm gonna heal a little bit of healing. And as long as it make continuous headshots, well, actually, that's why I feel I need to use my machine gun because, uh, at this point, the machine gun was... I mean, I had it also... I'm pretty sure this was fully upgraded as well. Or if it wasn't, it was the second to fully upgraded. But I found that the pistol was stronger than the, uh... Than the machine gun. And I thought using that one trap might be a good idea, maybe. Because I still had... I, I had in this particular playthrough, I had a lot more traps left over and saved for when I fight Jack. That trap, however, did not kill it. After a few more bullets to the head... Well, actually, a few more hiding first. And then a few more bullets to the head. I bring this sucker down for good. There he goes. Hide behind the corner. Because these fuckers explode all the time. Oh, God. I hate when they do that. And, okay. So, this was... So, this was hour four. So, now we're going to move on to hour five. In my final place. All right. So, here we are now in the fight against Jack. Can we just kill this guy real quick? Bam. There he goes. He's dead. So, now in the final fight against Jack. A pretty Wait, decent what? amount. I killed you. A pretty decent amount of uh, scrap. Ah. And with the handgun, it's only easier to aim at his head. And scrap is still producing in the last 40 seconds too, which is nice. Because I don't spend it on not much. This switch, this switch was a little bad. Be trapped there from both sides. This is where I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> yeah, get hit for a few times. Uh, oh, excuse me. Get hit a few times there. I thought it was a bit of a pickle there. One shot that mold. Pretty nice. Okay, continuous head slots to Jack. It's easily the best method. Like, right between his scissors. And when I found myself in situations where I was low on handgun ammo, we'll be able to check the price real quick. Do I actually, do I make that risk? Yes, I do. No, no, I don't. I, won't rem I remember. Jack's faster than mold. I don't like risking, I don't want to risk him coming inside. And then that stupid trap did that thing where if you're too close to it, the tripwire of it doesn't activate. And, well, actually, it activates on the second way around, but not the first time. That one did. But for some reason, the traps don't always want to activate immediately after you buy them. So boom, that was already a good amount of damage. Not enough to bring him to his knees, but just, you know, no, nah, I didn't miss you. Just enough to rack up some more damage on him. Mold continuously keeps spawning. At this point, you just gotta ignore them. Or better yet, if you're sure that if you're sure you're not gonna miss with the one-hit headshot, just do that. Just so you can get him out of your hair. Cause again, their they move their walking speed is a bit faster than Jack. Jack's range and his charging speed, however, is faster than a mold. So unfortunately, the mold always sometimes cover Jack's head, and I can't always hit him. Like right there, just killing that one mold gave me the opening that I needed. Didn't feel it was safe yet to go back into the scrap there, and I hear the little click click, and I'm like, oh shit, because those can hurt you. I figured that out in round one. Well, not, not round one. Though. My play, my first playthrough of that is that the freak, your freaking traps can hurt you. So there was no reason for that. Down to four bullets left. Really not wanting to waste a single one. So now to none. But again, with 1,690 scrap left, I was in a pretty good boat. So I decided then to use my machine gun, which was still pretty powerful, even if I couldn't always aim it correctly. No reason to turn on the turret. However, once I make my next loop around, I get a crap ton more of handgun ammo. Actually, I think as much as I as much as the 1,690 will give me. So I'm gonna pick that up. Perfect. Yep, literally, I just spanned that one out. Be trapped in this room, however. That's a big no. Sliding past that guy. Didn't want to get anywhere near Jack. Run through there. Lucky hit on Jack's part, not gonna lie. And I believe this is the home stretch here because now I got to me the machine gun. I don't even have to use my handgun here. Because I just I was hoping just to waste the, the rest of what was on my machine gun and then use my handgun. But, however... 
If I continue there. Panicking a little bit. Hit <laughs> the back up. In the home stretch, he's. Oh, shit, and running to another mold right there. <laughs> Down to my last 26 bullets of my machine gun. And again, aiming. Not exactly the easiest thing. Using his charging attack, I figured, hmm, three shots on him. Okay, never mind. I do, I do resort to my handgun. But it's fine because, again, the handgun, in my opinion, was stronger than the machine gun anyway. Oh, you'll find that I am not going to die. Because I can read the future. And I predict that you will die right in the next few sh shots to the head boom 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 come on pass nick kill him already <laughs> yeah again i was at 12 bullets too i was going a bit tedious I accidentally bought burner fuel because i was in a panicky state and i'm like okay you know does it hurt to just use some more burner fuel the burner however wasn't upgraded in the slightest but i figured he had to be close to death at this point so i just used the rest of it on him see where that got me and wouldn't you know it gave me the win right there down he goes heading jack so yeah, all done, did that, Nightmare was completed, so and no, I, I will it. not play it again. <laughs> this is just going to be very aggravating. But I survived the night regardless. Again, I do apologize for the unfortunate audio error. I assure you that it will not happen again for the rest of the band footage. So, thank you guys so much for watching me complete nightmare on Resident Evil 7. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment up with no such a play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later!